All right, we're going to move on with a video on how to remove the crankshaft, the connecting rod, and the piston out of this GCV 160 engine. Uh, the first thing I want to point out is one of you are probably going to find an engine with this broke. I remember last year we had uh, some students got a little uh, overzealous and broke this off. Now, if I lean on this or anything else on this little casted arm here, it's going to be easy to break. You agree? Yeah. What this is, is this is the oil slinger. So as this engine is spinning around, it's grabbing the oil and it's literally throwing it up and around. This is one type of oil lubrication system. The other thing I want you to know right now is that this is intentional on which side this is on. If you were to flip this around and try to put the rod on the uh, wrong way, as soon as you turn the motor over, it would hit the case and break off. So it is intentional. Another thing that we're gonna learn about connecting rods possibly for the first time is right here on this, uh, these rods, they are sized and machined to only fit one way. Every single connecting rod in the world, I don't care if you're working on a car, truck, or anything, they are directional. A lot of times what you guys are going to find in our motorcycle applications is you're going to have a letter A that might be stamped across both halves so that when you put the rod together, it will make the full letter or full number. Sometimes it's a 1, sometimes it's an A, so on. The other time, uh, you'll see where there's like raised cast portions. Well, they'll identify that those two sides go together. Okay, Honda's done uh, on the new engines, which that training module for the certification is based on a new GVC. They've really done some neat up updates that make this even easier yet to match things together, trying to eliminate those problems. So I'm going to go uh, back here to uh, the actual disassembly of this. On uh, the rod itself here, these are six by one millimeter bolts, so about what's their torque? Six to nine. Six to nine, six to nine foot pounds, right? Okay. Now what you can do, is just wiggle this. I do not want to intentionally try to grab this. If I put leverage here, and this is still stuck, I will break that arm off, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little pressure on here. Can you see the gap in it now? Yep. Okay, so it has loosened up enough to where it's gonna be free. I'm a huge fan of T-handles. Now I would not wanna put any real fast uh, spinning on that. I wouldn't wanna put any power tools and spin this around because I would uh, would score the crankshaft and the journal surfaces. So that's something we haven't talked about in class yet. This is a journal, so we call it a crank journal. This is also considered a rod journal to be more specific. These over here that support the crankshaft are main journals, meaning that they support this. So on this particular engine, the other main journal is in the case itself. And then this is the main journal on the crankshaft. Okay, main journal in the case, main journal on the shaft itself. If you want to get even more specific, you would identify that as to which main journal we're talking about. This is upside down, so this is the side that the blade or pump or PTO side of this. So this would be the PTO main. Make sense? And on the other side, that side that the flywheel attaches to for the ignition, we said was the mag or the magneto, so that would be the magneto main. Make sense? Yeah. And this is just a single cylinder here, so this would just be the, uh, the uh, connecting rod journal, okay? So what the trick is here is you're gonna hold this with your hand, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spin this around, and I'm just supporting it so it can't scratch or whatnot, and I'm gonna push the piston up into the cylinder as far as it can go, then go ahead and swing it out of the way, and what I'm gonna do, is find a sweet spot here that I can slide this out. So you see how I really had to be careful to kind of move things out of the way? Right. Let's see, I'm gonna put this back in. So I'm taking this rod and what you're gonna see is how close that crankshaft is right here and right here. If I just go banging on this thing, I'm gonna cause damage. So you might have to move this out of the way to find that sweet spot for the removal. There's, here's something I want to make a point of. Do you guys see how this wires here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you might not be able to see from the way the camera angle was is that when I'm setting this down, you might not notice this, but I'm being intentional that this wire isn't getting pinched, okay? Yeah. 